there. That's your neighbor to the left of the house. This is the street. These are the neighbor's houses across the street. And we are walking towards the house now. That's your neighbor to the right. This is the front of the house. That tree in the front needs trimming. There's the front of the house there. Pretty good view. Okay, Bill, we're gonna go inside now. It's a beautiful neighborhood. As you can see, the homes are very well are up there. I, the listing agent told me that the owner of this particular home that we're putting the offer in between the purchase was into the house for 285000 with all the upgrades. Okay, we're entering the front door. This is the living room area. And we're going to go into the master bedroom now, which is tiled. In fact, the whole house is tiled. There is no carpet anywhere. We have tray ceilings. You probably need to put up a privacy fence, but as you can see, you have the back patio. I will take you out there. Now we're going into the master bathroom. You have a walk-in closet to the left, which is tiled. You have a walk-in closet to the right, which is tile. Here is the master bath. Beautiful square Roman tub. Dual sinks, very high countertops, so you don't have to bend over. Here's the walk-in shower. And you have the water closet with privacy windows. Okay, we leave in the master bedroom now. We are walking through the living room. And this is the family room. Here, the breakfast nook overlooking the patio and the garden. Another patio door in the family room that leads out to the patio. As you can see, it's covered over. There's a ceiling fan out there to make it more comfortable for you out there. This is the kitchen leading off of the family room with granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, lots of cupboard space. And you can see the 42 inch wood cabinets Beautifully finished. Okay, now the, here we have a little desk area in the kitchen where you can write out those bills, pay off those credit cards that your wife ran up. Little cubby holes for storing papers and what else. Here's the microwave and the stainless steel appliances. Again, beautiful cabinets. Here's the washer dryer. They're not the higher end, but they're functional. And this is the laundry room we're in, which also has a walk-in closet for additional storage. Okay, there is no light here in the garage, but it's a good sized garage. Okay, here we go.
And the garage, you can see here, they do have the storm shutters, which are included. Um, and in fact, on the paperwork I sent you, if you can check the box on the first page of the contract, because I wasn't sure if there were storm shutters here, but they are. The walls in the garage look freshly painted. Um, there's some spare tiles if need doing, if need be. Here's your uh, water heater and AC unit. Okay. We're going through the kitchen again. Onto the auxiliary side of the house. Here's bedroom number two. You can see that side of the house is fence. Here's bedroom number three. Great size bedrooms. And as you can see, they're all tiled. Well, I hope you can see. And here's the third bedroom on this side. With a nice view into the yard. This is the second bathroom. You see the light in there. And it has a full tub. As you can see. And it's a cabana bath because it has a door leading outside in the event that you wanted to put in a pool. And I guess they locked it. Okay, I will go outside another way. Again, the cabinets in the bathroom are good size bath height that you do not have to be stooping over. See that door open quite nicely. Here's the patio, as you can see. We have a good amount of space. You can barbecue over here. We've got one side, two sides fence. So if you wanted to put a privacy fence in, you'd only have to put it in along the back of the house, which makes it very affordable. from the back okay and that's your new home end of video